Do you have more? Yeah. Of those? Yeah. How, How many do you want? <laughs> we'll buy them all. Three. Would you five a piece if we bought them all? Uh, five a piece. Um. What's up, guys? I hope your day's going well, and I really appreciate you tuning into the video. Um, I am back. <laughs> it's nice to be back. It was a nice break from it. I took like a week vacation, but more on that later. Uh, to explain what's going on in this video a little bit, uh, Jamie and I drove to Indiana on a Wednesday. This is a flea market that only happens on Wednesdays, and I've only ever been to one flea market, uh, so this is my second time ever. And I definitely would go back. Um, I didn't find much, but you'll see a pretty funny clip. Um, I, I mean, I, I walked away from this table to look up an item and then Jamie went and made a deal on it. Um, and then the dude kept pulling out more and more. So I was like, I'll buy them all. And uh, so yeah, I felt like I was butting in on his deal, but I told Jamie I walked away to look him up and he then he felt like he butted in on my deal. So whatever, it works out in the end. Uh, but he ended up having a fantastic day. So you'll see the stuff that he picked up. I didn't get it on film, but at the end, when we're comparing our items, he, he completely blew me out of the water. Like, it's not a competition, but he just outpicked me really, really badly. So thank you guys, and uh, let's roll the footage. Because I hate it just to give it to Goodwill. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> no. Yeah, for sure. And my, my printer quit. Of course, I had just bought, you know. <laughs> I think it's fire right? yeah. Awesome. Thank, Thank you. you very I appreciate much. it. I appreciate you. Good luck today. Okay, thank you. <clears throat> Got some ink. There's mm -hmm. some, yeah, there's some tigers and stuff. I can't remember. I, okay. I looked on there. But they're, they're all new. Okay. Hey, Jamie, give me five bucks for you. Yeah. What'd you do? Yeah, eight bucks a piece. Would you do 20 if I did all three? Yep. Okay. My sister, yeah, oh, okay. that's a gift for her. I got, yeah. I bought these yeah. by mistake. Oh, did you? Yeah. Uh, on an online, online auction. Oh, so you have I more? Just, here, you want to take these that don't have the prices on them? Oh, they're yeah, all, they're that's all the same. Yeah, I just yeah, got, yeah. That's reason I went and got three more. Okay. Do you have more? Yeah. Of those? Yeah. How? How many do you want? We'll buy them all. Three. Would you five a piece if we bought them all? Uh, five a piece. Um, I buy every one of them that you have. I'll I'll do um I'll do six. Okay, that works. You didn't ask how many he has. <laughs> However many he's got. Everything yeah. I got is Milwaukee or Dewalt. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, five six, seven. 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 Four, five, four, six, six. Forty-two. He got three. And at, at five? No, no, I paid... Three for twenty. Three for twenty. And he wants okay. to buy all of them. Okay. So it'd be seven times I'm, six. Forty-two, right? Forty-two. Yeah. Cool. Correct. And... Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. And even get the box. <laughs> Yeah. Unless you've got to have a bag. Yeah. I do, but I mean, I feel like the box will keep together better. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Thanks a lot. Okay, thank you. Thank you, guys. Me too. We'll, we'll split them up. I didn't mean to jump in on your deal. Oh, I literally no. walked away to look them up. Oh, no, yeah. well, I kind of jumped. I didn't realize you were looking No, 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 up. you're good. They're like 35 bucks a piece. Okay. Yeah, dude, we just did well. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like buddy did on you. And so no, you, you didn't though. You didn't know. We're even. Yeah, yeah. <laughs>
tickets for I you. can't believe you had that many. What the heck? You said you bought them by accident? Yeah, like in an online auction. I accidentally bought 20 chargers. <laughs> How's it going, sir? He said, I give you some advice for some of your whiskey. I give you some advice. I gave him my bottle and he drank the last swallow. He drank the spit sip. He don't know that. He got the spit what? sip. I have never heard anybody call Can you give him with the chips? Sip. Yeah. When I was a kid, we had a water bottle. No. Five you said five, right? Okay. I'll do that. 15 for all four. If you want all okay. Four. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right, we got everything laid out. I know the video is probably super short. I was trying to conserve the battery. Mr. Jamie over here decides to just outpick me. I couldn't, I mean, I just wasn't finding stuff. Uh, I'd walk right past the table and then he'd go and find something. So I don't know, just wasn't my day, but at least I can show you what he found. He found this pretty cool uh, coin bank. It does have the stopper. He says that's pretty rare. He paid five bucks for that. I'll just be popping cops up on the screen of this stuff. Uh, Magnolite Roaster. Uh, I think if you guys have been watching me for a while, you probably saw me pick a couple of these up. Let's see which one it is. 4263, super good condition. He paid $10 for that. We got a Fluke uh, multimeter. I'm not sure what model this is. Um, but yeah, those are pretty good. Is it the 87? 87 yeah. Is that how you tell? Okay. What'd you pay for that? Uh, 10 bucks. 10, 12 bucks. 12 bucks for that. A Minolta X370. 10 bucks. 10 bucks on that. Uh, he paid five bucks for this Black & Decker Space Maker. Really anything Space Maker is gonna be good, uh, especially these can openers. Uh, these Craftsman battery things, funny enough, I saw these, I walked away to look them up, and then I walked back and he's doing a deal with those. Uh, he got three of them, he paid $20 for his three, and then I got seven more for uh, $6 a piece, and I saw that those were going for like 30 to 35-ish. All right, guys, these things have been selling like hotcakes. I just want to give a quick rundown of how I'm packing these. Uh, but before I do that, I'll pop a comp up on the screen right here showing that I have sold six of these. I have one left. And they, like I said, they've just been selling like crazy. I think it's been two days since I've listed them. And uh, yeah, six out of seven have sold. That other one should probably come through pretty soon. These, I'm just throwing in a little eight by six by four box. And then I throw some uh, paper just to fill the void. And then the box is going to be too small to fit in a padded flat rate just by the way, you know, th that four inches. So I cut it down. I use this little box resizer from Lonnie at Shed Flips. I'm sure a lot of you guys already have these, but yeah, I use that thing all the time. It's uh, definitely probably my most useful tool that I have for my reselling business. I take this, I'll go along all the edges. And then I use the other side, the little razor side, and I'll cut down all the corners. And then I fold the flaps down, tape it, and then you get this nice flat box that will fit and slide nice and neatly into a padded fly rate envelope. And that's going to be the cheapest option to ship since these are over a pound. Um, I don't know if you guys know, but you can get these free from your post office. Just order them online along with other shipping materials. And uh, yeah, I use these all the time. And definitely look into that for stuff that's over a pound. You're going to save a lot of money. Like I listed these for $29.95 free shipping. And I felt safe doing that because I know that's only going to cost me like, what is it? Like $7.50, $7.80 with a padded flat rate envelope. So making about $22 bucks on each of these. Um, and then he got some Cutco that I walked right past, he said. Um, so that's pretty good. What would you pay on those? 20 bucks. And I have, I don't know, I'll just pop, I'll just show you comps of different Cutco stuff. Um, but my stuff, I got this 902 XL ink from that same table that I got the battery charger. So that was really my uh, honey hole right there. That's like 50 bucks. And then I got this Marucci bat that Jamie was going to buy, but you know, I wasn't finding much. So he told me about it. And I think that's like 40 ish on the low end, he said, and then upwards of 50, 60. So he did well. This was a sale that only goes on on Wednesdays. I've seen other YouTubers like Ready, Set, Resell. Uh, he's been scoring really big there, so we had to dip our toes in the water and see what it's all about. Uh, 
I mean, we didn't find any like bulk deals of rough wear like he's been finding, which is pretty nuts. Ben, you've been killing it if you're watching this. Um, but yeah, I'm happy with what we got. Vacation was great. We went to Gatlinburg for a week. And then after that, it was like the beginning of the week. So sales weren't going on. So I made a bulk deal with Jamie. I didn't get that one on film. I've just found that those videos are getting kind of repetitive. Um, but yeah, I've been busy. I hope you guys are doing well. Uh, thanks so much for sticking along with me. I know it's been like two weeks since I've uploaded. Uh, today is Thursday when I'm recording this video. Uh, there wasn't much sales going on, but tomorrow, Friday, uh, there is a community sale in Kentucky. It's two cities right next to each other. And I saw on their list, there's like at least 50 houses that are participating on the list tomorrow. So I'm super happy about that. It's gonna be like an hour drive again, but it should definitely be worth it, I hope. So if I do well, you'll see a video on that. But otherwise, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate you all. You have a great day. Bye.